The Pele Saka Bridge is located in the southern part of the quarter. It crosses the Mali Storm Bay and connects the mainland with the Pele Saka Peninsula. It is near the border with Bosnia and Herzegovina, and it is an important gateway to the rest of the country. The starting point is at Key One Pass 300, and the end is at Key Five Pass 240. The total length is 3.94 kilometer. It includes Pale Saka Bridge, access road on two sides, and other related works. The bridge total length is 2,440 meters. The mainland access road is 120 meters long, while the peninsula one is 680 meters long. The bridge is designed for two-way traffic with four lanes. Pele Saka Bridge is a six-pylon, multi-span, extra-dosed cable-state bridge with a northotropic steel deck. It has 14 piers and abutments. Its spans are 84 plus 108 plus 108 plus 189.5 plus 5 times 285 plus 189.5 plus 108 plus 108 plus 84 meters. Ten piers and pylons are located in the sea, which has the average depth of 27 meters. A navigational passage is provided between S7 and S8. The designed dimensions are 200 by 55 meters. The bridge is built in an EU marine nature reserve. The environment protection requirements are very high. This area is also a seismically active zone with a design ground acceleration at 0.34 gram. The steel structure production quality level is the highest EU standard EXC4. The construction period is 16 months. The main construction process is as follows: construction of a power foundation. The S3 to S12 piers are located in the sea. Steel pipe piles with diameters of 1,800 millimeters and 2,000 millimeters are used as a foundation. Among them, the S3, S4, and S10 to S12 pier foundation is a composite foundation of steel piles and reinforced concrete embedded into rock. The reinforced concrete pile enters rock five to seven meters more than the steel pipe pile. The foundations of S5 to S9 are steel pipe piles embedded into rock, with 40 meters of concrete in the top part. The bridge has a total 148 steel pipe piles. The pile wall is 40 millimeters thick. And the power shoe on the bottom, two meters, is 60 millimeters thick. The longest pile is 130.6 meters long. This is the longest pile driven as a whole in the world. All piles were manufactured in China and are transported by sea to the site. A pile driving barge is used for bridge construction through driving whole piles. First, the steel piles for central piers S7 and S8 are driven. The pile driving process is: the barge is anchored. It moves by manipulating the anchors and takes the pile. It returns to the position. Vertical pile is set into the gap. The pile gripper closes. The pile is precisely positioned. It sinks. The pile gripper is united and opened. The hammer is pushed. The pile sinks through impact hammering to the position. In the pile driving process, an air bubble curtain is used as a noise reduction method. The impact on marine life is also decreased. After the middle pier piles are driven, the piles for other main and approach piers are driven. 
after the completion of a pile driving on all pier locations. Drilling is carried out. A top-mounted clear water drill rig and reverse circulation drilling technology are used. Due to environmental protection requirements, the drilling residue needs to first enter the hopper barge for sedimentation. After the two sedimentation levels, a pump returns the water into the borehole for reuse. The drilling residue is transported by a hopper barge to a designated sea area 20 miles away in order to be discharged. The pile foundation reinforcement cages are produced in the reinforcement plant on the peninsula by using the long line method. The cage segments are transported by boat to the pile position. Using a floating crane, the cage is lengthened segment by segment and lowered. After the reinforcement cage is lowered, the borehole is cleaned. Concrete is put under water through a rigid tremor pipe. The concrete is mixed at the batching plant on the peninsula. It is transported in mixer trucks to the dock and then by barge to the pier position. It is installed using a placing boom. Two drilling rigs are used for the bridge construction. There are two walking surfaces and the process is streamlined. Pier S13 is located on the peninsula coast. Its foundation is a ring-shaped second pile foundation. Before construction, a cofferdam is built. After forming a platform, works are carried out by rotary drilling. Pile cap construction. The S3 to S12 pile caps are pile caps on high piles in water. A coffer dam made out of a concrete bottom slab and a steel site is used for sealing out water and as a pile cap formwork. The concrete bottom slabs are precast on the peninsula dock. After the precast works are finished, they are transported by boat to the pier position. The sequence of a coffer dam installation is an assembly platform is installed on the pier place. The concrete precast slabs are placed by a crane. Wet joints are put. The steel side plates are installed. The hydraulic control system synchronously lifts the coffer dam for 50 cm. The assembly platform is removed. The coffer dam is synchronously lowered through multiple points. Strut and ties are installed. The position is precisely adjusted and fixated. Sailing concrete is poured. The lowering platform is removed. Inner supports are installed. Water is pumped out of the coffer dam. After the coffer dam is installed, pile cap reinforcement is bound in stages. The massive concrete is cast in vertical layers. The pile caps for main piers S5 to S10 are cast in three vertical layers. Their height are 1.5 meter plus 1.5 meter plus 2 meters. The largest casting amount is 1,005 cubic meters. The pile caps of piers S3, S4, S11, and S12 are cast in two layers. Their heights are 1.5 meter plus 3 meters. The largest casting amount is 708 cubic meters. Simultaneously with the construction of pile caps in the sea, the construction of S2 pier foundation and S13 pile cap is carried out. The S2 foundation is a circular, expanding foundation embedded into rock. Its diameter is 11 meters. Its height is 8 meters. First, the foundation pit is excavated. 
then it is cast in three layers. After the pile foundation works on S13 pile cap are completed, excavation, formwork setup, and casting are done. Construction of piers. The S5 to S10 below pylon piers are a hollow thin wood structure. The pylons are RC85 self-compacting concrete solid structure. The mixed design and casting technology for these parts present a great challenge. There is a 12.2 meter long and a 4.5 meter high concrete girder between the pier and the pylon. Other piers are also hollow thin walled structures. The main piers and pylons are cast with the help of a hydraulic automatic climbing formwork. The side piers are cast using a crane guided climbing formwork. The standard pier segment height is 4.5 meter. The standard pylon segment height is 4.0 meter. The construction of the piers and pylons in the sea is done using a tower crane as the main lifting equipment. One tower crane is arranged per each pier. The S2 and S13 piers construction is done by a car crane as the main lifting equipment. At the road of S5 to S10 pylons, the 12.2 meter concrete girder with the RC segment and the first pair of cable segments are jointly constructed using a support bracket. The support bracket is installed while the below pylon pier is constructed. When the below pylon pier is finished, first the RC segment is installed, positioned and secured. Then the concrete girder formwork, reinforcement and pre-stressed pipes are set up. Concrete is poured. After it reaches the designed strength requirements, pre-stressed tendons are installed, tensile grouting is carried out. The RC segment and the concrete girder segment are connected into a hole. Then the pylon construction is executed and the first pair of cabled segments is simultaneously installed. The bridge deck crane is also set up after the pylon construction is completed. The first pair of state cables is installed and tensioned. Construction of box girders The bridge is made out of steel box girders with the orthotropic plate. A single box has three cells. The width of the steel box girder top is 22.5 meter. The width at the bottom is 8.1 meter. They are 4.5 meters high. Stay cables with galvanized steel strands are used. The 33,700 tons of steel box girders for this bridge are produced in China in part. They are transported by the sea to the construction site and installed in segments. Each pylon has 10 pairs of stay cables. The standard length of a cabled segment is 12 meters. Total length is 1,440 meters. Except the first cabled segment, which is installed by floating crane on the support bracket. The segments are installed by a bridge deck crane under the cantilever method. The total length of the segments without cables is at 90.8 meter. They are differentiated as RC segments, segments above shore, segments above water, and closure segments. The RC segments and above shore segments are lifted by a floating crane and are supported by a bracket. The segments above water are installed as large segments. A floating crane lifts them to the pier top and a bracket is used as support. The large sections at mid span are lifted by floating crane and are suspended. The closure segments are installed using a bridge deck crane. First, the mid-span closure segment is installed. Then the bridge cranes are moved to the cantilever ends of the S4 and S11 pier steel box girder. The installation sequence of the rest is side-span closure segment, 
The next side span closure segment. The next middle span closure segment. During the process of a steel box girder installation, the stay cables are installed synchronously. The stay cables adopt a single tendon threading and a single strand tensioning technology. During the construction of the main bridge girders, the access roads on both sides are executed. After the completion of the main bridge structure, auxiliary facilities, bridge pavement, traffic safety works, and others are carried out. Then the construction works on the entire project are completed. This is the first EU fund project undertaken by China Communications Construction. We are confident that the Palisade Bridge will be a high quality project, becoming a new landmark in Croatia.